shit, that scared me. Well then. Okay. What? I'll, allow me to. Uh, you, what? You're, you almost corked your Jesus bottle. Fuck. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and open my bottle. Hey. With with the good old twist it, top. It, <laughs> yes, oh, right. Shit. Oh, this already smells inviting. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start. Three, two, one. Hey, welcome to Two Brains One Bottle. It is July 29th. This is the August episode. Oh, um, daddy went a little heavy handed there. Ooh. The bartender likes oh, you. Oh, man. Yes. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh. That is pretty. About yeah, the same color. Yeah, it's a very dark, dark honey so. amber. You know you know the color? Okay. I'm going to give you, I'm going to paint you a beautiful picture. That's very, that's very nice. It's a step up from what I thought it was. Alexander Hamilton? Anyway. This is the <laughs> same color that is in Jurassic Park with the mosquitoes stuck in the amber. That is amber. When I think amber, that, that is, is amber. That is fucking color. And although, I, I don't know if it dates me or or just says I'm one, a different type of nerd. But ooh, it yes, looks, well, that's, it I'm, looks like it's written in Hebrew, the font. Right. But uh, when I think amber, I actually think of the amber room. The missing amber room in Russia. Fuck Russia. Anyway. I've not, I've, um, I've not heard that one. The missing amber room of Russia. Oh, oh, dude, it's fascinating. You should look it up when you get a, you know, get a minute. Yeah, okay. But, uh, hey, hold on. Let for me, those of you that are... Just just, mark, no, 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 no. We're I'm, not no, talking no, about I'm that just today. Mark, I'm just right. marking that in my notes okay. so I can go back later. Okay. Missing Amber Room of Russia. Ooh. That's a phrase, I've, a yeah. sentence I never thought I'd ever have to say. It started as a gift and then became something else and then it speared. Oh, um, so... For those of you that are wondering what the hell's going on, and you, if you don't know what Two Brains, One Bottle is, welcome. This is a, a, an audio podcast where myself and Sean Flume, who is a drummer friend of mine and my whiskey drinking buddy, he uh, he's in Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm in... No, I'm sorry. You're in Kansas City, Kansas. Neither. Uh, I'm in Overland Park. You're in Overton. Oh. Overland Park. That's right. Over Overland Park. Sorry. He's in... Anyway, he's in Kansas. I'm in uh, Los las vegas nevada and we are just basically doing a podcast for an hour where we talk about whatever we want we also answer listener questions uh and we delve into we kind of figure out life one drink at a time that's there's that's the, the goal that's the so goal the we're reason all, why he... we're all trying to figure out life some of us yes, just exactly. use different uh inebriation tactics or or diversion <laughs> accessories as i like to call them Ah, uh, see, yeah, the other thing we do here that's is that's the sound you love to hear. It's just the appreciation of just ooh, we're gonna dive into this for a minute. Well, the other thing we do here is we it, it it's called two brains one bottle because we used to record these after doing a whiskey review together physically. And we together. drink the same and, whiskey, and thus and we would drink thus. yes. However, now we're we're both drinking something different because we're in different places. And it doesn't always sync up. To and do, tonight is no I'd different. love to like find a bottle we can do, maybe something common, obviously. But for the first right. twelve months, we just start doing like, you know, this is a Jack Daniels episode. This is the Jameson episode. This is the you go through all the, the oh, I mean, stereotypical. But, but everybody knows what they taste right, like. That you go through the stereotypical twelve whiskeys, like because we don't have to do a lot of the review of it because this is a separate thing from the review. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, well, before we get into the whiskeys we're drinking, uh, once again, welcome to the cha- uh, the the podcast. And uh, if you're listening to this on YouTube, awesome. Um, if you're listening to it on Patreon, even better. That means you're a patron, uh, pretty much. Uh, we do have the first season up completely free, and that's what's so special about today is that today is the day I went and clicked them all, made them public for the first eight, eight episodes. So check them all out. Hope you like them. And uh, yeah. If you have anything you want us to talk about or answer, by all means, email us at twobrainsonebottle at gmail.com. That's the number two and the number one. Two brains, one bottle. I hope I didn't make too big of a fool of myself in season one. However, I know oh, I know that I was uh, <laughs> not present for quite a bit of those episodes. Mm. And, uh, you know, Ooh. it happens. It happens. I have, I'm sorry. I, I already dug into my scotch a little bit. And it's I'm, I'm, I'm it's all right. I've got a beer I'm working on uh, finishing, and then I'm diving into my Buddha Haben. But uh, so you're drinking Buddha yeah. Haben, the twelve year old, right? Um, is it? Yeah, it is. It is. I saw the twelve when you showed it me the is. picture. 
mine, it, I'm drinking Hamilton's, no apostrophe, single malt Highland, um, 40%. You know, it's funny, you went, you, like, 40% standard, first of all. Second of all, it's yeah, I, funny that you go now, keeping in mind that this is kind of retrospective, this whole theme, it's kind of funny that now you're like, oh, it's a Highland, and you didn't like space science. You didn't like the the that I love. like they're they're that similar of tasting notes now. So how do you feel your palate has changed since you and I started drinking whiskeys together? What uh, within reason with with a, with a modicum of restraint, I can I can definitely enjoy and re, and and respect a little bit of the peat and a little bit of the smoke if used properly. If it's there on the back end and you're not trying to hammer me over the head or with the iodine taste, if you're, if you're, you know, it's like one of those, Hey, make you made it interesting, but it's not like you went the other way with the one note kind of thing. Like Grange stone is after 10 minutes, it's all kind of just like, eh, it's whiskey. You know, it's just one note kind of, whereas some whiskeys that you and I have tried badly have, have been just like, here you, uh, we're, we challenge you to like this <laughs> smack upside the head with the C or whatever. So I, I think to answer your question is, uh, I'm, I feel like my palate is a little, I'm, I'm appreciating a little bit more when there's complexity, as long as it isn't complexity for complexity's sake, as long as it isn't just this is who we are. We, we, we lit a campfire and made whiskey, you know. But this is no. I've always been a Highland fan. I, I like my alcohol nice and clean. Sometimes. What was, what was just funny to me when we first started drinking whiskey together was how much you didn't like or said Oops. you didn't like space science. When so many of those honeycomb, sugary mm. notes, they're they're yeah, very yeah. much shared in that like that that light peach kind of realm of flavors. They they. They share so much in the uh, Venn diagram of of the palate. Right. It's like you, you do, you just don't know it. It's kind of like, uh, oh, you you know what's his name? You just you just haven't seen him in a while. It's like you know who the guy is. You just haven't seen his face. Yeah, I I liken it to this. I think of musically speaking, mm. I enjoy a nice dissonant chord every now and then in a nice unresolved mm. you know uh, uh, scale. I enjoy that, but if it was all the, if that's what the whole song was, you know, it was like, it's it's going to be acid jazz, badly, <laughs> just hey, all, hey. just all, all eight, well, all eighth notes, all well, or not eighth notes, well, but all acid uh, jazz all is this. more of a timbre than it is dissonance. But but I'll, <laughs> but, I'll, but, I'll, anyway. but I'll digress <laughs> because we yeah. we'll but do you know what I mean. You know what next episode the acid jazz hmm. episode. We're gonna we're gonna go, listen go. to the top. We are gonna listen to the top five acid jazz songs in the U.S. And then we're gonna have a. Po- I put that on we're you. We're gonna have a podcast about it. I, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. I put that on you to find them, buddy. Oh, I put absolutely! That on you to Fucking find absolutely. To, to Upvote anything up. you want. If you have acid jazz suggestions, throw them down in the comments. <laughs> That's this is where our niche market gets uh, gets Look, gets picked yeah. up. <laughs> acid jazz. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, me, I knew. Right I knew the whole time. I never right. doubted you, Acid Jazz fans. Humbug. I always loved you. What More ends? than your family. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm going to create an army of Acid Jazz musicians. I don't know about <laughs> that much. Uh, oh, you fall. Oh, man. So. Mm. So, you are enjoying yours. I haven't even dove into my... Uh... Oh. Well, so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about mine because... Well, you've had that before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Buna, Buna yeah, I was gonna say one you're, of my, you're one of my tops. You're a slut for Buna. I've, but here's the thing: I've only ever had the twelve because <laughs> the twelve is the reasonably priced one. Any right. anything beyond the fucking twelve is like I can't justify spending that on a bottle. That hurts my heart. Yeah. Like, well, this this Hamilton's. I mean, for twenty two bucks at Total Wine, I'm I'm ridic- it, It's ridiculous how much I'm enjoying it. Be- I was like, I want a Scotch, okay? I want to say I want a Highland Scotch. It's been a minute since I just had a plain old Highland Scotch. I've been on the bourbon tip for a long time, um, and I was like, hey, I've never heard of it. It's under twenty five bucks. I'm I'm in, and and it 
it it doesn't look like I'm going to you know regret drinking it uh, just based off literally based off the the canister mm-hmm. art. That's terrible to say, but uh, but also it, I think it had like a, a we recommend this you know from from uh, Total Wine people. But um, are you in their are you in the, their app? In their app, yeah. If you build a profile in their app and you start like reviewing the things that you've had and giving them honest reviews and star rating and, and all that kind of stuff, apps like at Total Wine Distiller, Vivino, Untapped, all these review websites—they're they're algorithms. It's the same thing as Facebook, right? It, no, I'm not. I didn't even know they had an app these, for Total yeah, Wine. Yeah, they build these little profiles for you that eventually start suggesting things. And Total Wine, I'll say for the whiskey side of things, when I was first starting out with diving into whiskey years ago, right? I went to Total Wine because I could leave reviews, and it wasn't about it wasn't about the whiskey. It was about what it meant to my palate. It was about I didn't like this. It's not it's not a review of like the quality of the product. It's a review of how I reacted to having it. And I love going right. back and looking at those two star, one stars and going, what did I really not like about it? And trying it again and going, yeah, this wasn't, this, oh, see, this see, wasn't that so is... bad or, oh my God, I was fucking right. <laughs> and, and being yeah. angry that I doubted myself. I've never, I've never met somebody who went back and reviewed their review of, of, of a whiskey. Fuck yeah. People do, I, no, oh yeah. People do it for all other things. So Give why not? It. Um, I, I just I have to I have to give shout out to Hamilton's because they have their own tasting notes on the bottle, and it's actually accurate. That's good. You'll love to see that. Yeah, so you'll love to see that. The color. It, it, well, so, I mean, it's so power of suggestion nowadays. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, I could pick that up. Oh, it is. Like everyone's so fucking pretentious that you're you can't remove yourself really away from it and go, no, I don't smell that. <laughs> and like, right. I'm not gonna. Like, I'm the, not gonna the be only question. It doesn't smell like fucking apricots. It smells like peaches, yeah. and it's a different smell. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. <laughs> and you big, put some respect I'm on gonna, apricots. I'm gonna get so much hate from the apricot community. Apricot, apricot, apricot. I don't fucking. I don't eat yes. them unless uh, they're dried in. Well, like, here's the thing. Mix. Not only, not only are are there tasting notes that are actually accurate on the bottle. Um, the blurb, the little you know, the little wordy blurb is. It's nothing about the whiskey. It's just about Highland distilleries in general. And it's very, it's just vague enough. It's like, the distilleries of the Highlands produce whiskeys with subtle characteristics, oh. embracing delicate fragrances and complex oh, flavors. No. Flavors with oh, a no. you. Oh, no, it's too, no, no, no. that's too and, vague. The, but the, I, the thing is, the distilleries of the Highlands, not but our you and, you and I have both had, in the... But you and I both know that if you read a blurb on the bag, it's like, you know, it talks about how great if whiskey it's is. Generic, like, oh, this it's generic, it's typically suck. sourced. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, the, the the color they say warm gold, and we both agree it's amber. But um, it, it, I would say the nose is definitely citrus tones and hints of where's, spicy oak. But the, it's spicy oak. Where's what? it from? It is from. You want me like imported by or where's it from? Uh, Scotch um, whiskey, Glasgow. Okay, Glasgow. I was going to say Scotch whiskeys can't have color added. I believe. Right. So, so um, I'm looking at that color, just making sure that it's natural. Right. Um, doesn't say, but but yeah, it's uh, um, non not it's nice. It's, statement. Yeah, non age statement. It's it's nice because it's it's what I call a Tuesday night whiskey. In that I I would enjoy this cold. I would enjoy this you know neat like in, in the Glen Cairn like On the I am. Box. I would yeah. Uh, my dog, my kid just literally uh, made her first uh, bread pudding. Came out great. I'm like, I I hope there's some left. Because this will be great with bread pudding. You've had... Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a a concept out here in the Midwest called... A concept? A concept out here in the Midwest called a boat beer. It's got to be light enough that you don't get weighed down by it because you got to be active. You're jumping in and out of the water. You're going to be depleted of your your electrolytes right, right. so you don't want it to be heavy but it's got to be enough that you have some fun with it and it's got to be you know suiting to the mood so if you're on a boat you want it to be kind of tropical summery juicy orange 
kind of juicy. Like, I'm serious. <laughs> orange juice, lemon juice, like bright citrus notes, that kind of juice, or like even a watermelon sour that's not sour, but it's a little sweeter. C- kind of like on the, the seltzer end of things. Right. It's a whole vibe. But so it's a but vibe. so are some whiskeys. Some of them are very sweet, nice, light. Some of them are very heavy, dark, savory. Right. And I don't remember where I was going with this uh, with this this concept. So so talk talk to us about the Buna Um. Well, the Buna Haben is very mid palate fruit, just off the nose. Mid palate fruit, jam, kind of custardy, plum, blackberry, blueberry, richness. Uh, richness. <clears throat> Pardon me. It's a. There's a phenol heavy nasal quality to it that just lends itself to I would I would really want to use this in a gravy reduction off of a turkey that's been roasted low and slow get specific why don't you damn off Oops. of the nose Kick the mic. now going in for the go, yeah no get going it. in for the taste don't worry folks we will get to non whiskey stuff too <laughs> I recognize that little cough. <laughs> a little stronger than you thought. It's the same quality as taking a shot of... Uh, of um, Not triple sec. Cointreau. Wow. Yeah, taking a shot of... I thought you were going to say Grand Marnier or no, something. No, Cointreau. It's, it's more orange than like... Those other those other sweeter savory notes, it's, mm-hmm. but it's right there, right. Un, um, until okay, you know, until oh, go ahead. all of the heavy dark fruits take over, <laughs> and once they take over, it's like, oh fuck, it's a jam party. It's a yeah, jam it's a party. pajama party. Pajama time. Uh, but but head to my toes. But on the the close. back end of the palate, it's all brown sugar, molasses, and. Um, Maple syrup, hmm. but it but right it's so it where where ha, where some people really like uh, sweet things. I understand mm-hmm. that my sweetness. I get my sweetness from my whiskeys. Sometimes that's why like i got into a bourbon rut much like you did this this past like six seven months yeah i had a bourbon rut a couple <clears throat> years ago and i had to get out of it because i got tired of the brown sugar vanilla like and then i would get some rose petal mm-hmm. and rose petal once i noticed it started to become an overbearing flavor for me so i had to pull away not rose water just rose petal you can go rose water too i'd well, no, because that's a whole other thing. Like my my wife, if it, if it's got rose water in it, can't stand it. But not rose petal. I, well, I mean, how many how many things do you come across that are made with rose petal? Um, well, to surprise you, actually, there's a, a company that do just know. makes uh, joints. Well, not joints, but okay. like. Uh, um, um, Spliffs, not spliffs, not not blunts, blunts, blunts or tobacco, crazy blunts, Jay. blunts or tobacco, blunts or tobacco leaves <clears throat> wrapped around marijuana. Different, that is different tremendous. high. It's more of like a caffeine buzz high than it is. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's like it's, pot, it's, it's but... very zippy. You're you're yeah. active as shit. You're you're ready it's, to go. It's it's like having it's pot on Red Bull. It's, yeah, it's like pot on Red Bull, but it's like having a it's like having a fucking cigarette. Like, all right, cool, let's go. Like, I got shit to do. Like, nice. it gives you that same kind of jittery feeling, which I I never liked. Well, it's not <coughs> ne- never Excuse a fan me. of that. But there are some companies that are now making cones. That's the word I was looking for. Pre-shaped papers 
uh, wrapped around filters. Oh, uh, I thought you meant like ice cream no, cones. No, no, no. I was like, wait, uh, cones? shaped paper is wrapped around filters. <clears throat> Pardon And the <clears throat> papers, instead of papers, they'll use rose petals. Huh. Yeah, I, I smoked one. Talk about I, a floral note. I smoked note. one not, uh, not a month ago. And it was nice, but I didn't like the burn rate. It would it. Oh, it burned really fast. No, it burned. It it didn't burn. It was too moist. I should have taken the cone, and and I was going to say the, it seems I like have taking the cone and throwing it on my dehydrator, and and dried right. it out for a little bit because the leaves were a little too wet. So once I tried to light them, there was too much moisture. That see, that see that as someone who doesn't partake, I never would have thought right, of that. But the moisture multiplies with the oil that's released from burning the flour. And so when you get that mm -hmm. oil and water in the cone, it just it creates a barrier that's really tough to light. Wow. So we've gone from whiskey to weed. <laughs> Let's move into something else. Uh, I, I wanted to talk to you real quick about I know that you were doing are you still doing that workout uh D DTX or D D DDP that... yoga. DDP yoga. Are you still doing that? No, that's a, or is that like my drumming? That's, that's very much a uh, this part of the this part of the year, that part of the year thing. I do it when I'm cold because it keeps me warm. Right. Um, yeah, it's very. I, I, I it's, just started getting it's up. Very fucking hot out. I don't want to move. I want to die. <laughs> right. Well, I I I because well, what I do is I usually work out on my lunch break, which cuts my lunch hour in half. And means I'm generally I'm eating less. I'm eating better because you know right out of the gym you're not like, God I want a cheeseburger. You're just like oh that's gonna just hit. I know that's I know what that's gonna do. You're more like you're okay more in tune. or you know you, you, you yeah you, you're well it's more like okay I I paid the price now I'm not I'm not I, I don't want to undo what I just did. But uh, now what I'm doing now is um, getting up like 15 minutes earlier than I used to and. I, I'm going to the gym in the morning and then at lunchtime I'm getting a whole hour to do whatever which is nice but that being said there is something nice coming back from lunch break like having worked out because no matter whether it's hot or cold I'm feeling I'm not feeling the, the temperature extreme as bad because my blood is racing and, and I'm you know I'm sweating in the evaporative cooling and stuff but that being said, I just was like, no, I certainly can't work out after work. I got, you know, too stuff, too much weird ha stuff happening. But speaking of working out, um, do you is your DDP? Do you is our lunches part of that? Uh, there is a, a whole meal plan side of the DDP yoga stuff, but no, no lunges. Oh, lunges, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yoga. I hate lunges. It's yoga. So, oh yeah, it's, yeah, fair it's enough. All about, but I meant it's all about taking the yeah. weakest muscle groups, which are typically our inner muscles. Mm. Which because I I feel like I should do lunges to stay in shape. Um, that would be a big step forward. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> For those new listeners, I like to hit him with a, a dad joke when he's hopefully least expecting it. <laughs> He's let, trying to like let it roll off, roll off the roll off the shoulders, buddy. Just let it go. <laughs> you know, if you had some more mobility in your hips from doing longer, deeper stretches, maybe you could get two <clears throat> steps ahead of me on that fucking joke because I already had you scouted, you uh, son of a bitch. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck you. Gotcha. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Mm, treated. Let's go. I actually do lunches. I do lunches uh, as part of part of the workout. Do you do lunches um, uh, after breakfast, or do you do lunges before dinner? <laughs> well, first there's first lunge, and then there's second lunges. What about elevensies? <laughs> <laughs> yes, elevensies. That's where you do eleven lunges. Oh, oh um, no, I hate elevensies. <laughs> and only eleven when lunges. I, well, you have to. You have to carry I, so I do, much I do weight the... that by eleven your legs die. Yeah. Well, now that I'm 50, fuck. As of 17 days ago, Man. uh at time of I recording, would, I I, uh, I got to say congratulations because you have officially made it farther, further, made it further. Yes. 
I'm sorry. That's my fucking, that's my English teacher in my brain going, no, you've made it further <laughs> than I ever will. <laughs> so you can just enjoy. Why do you say because that? Because I'm going to die well before I ever hit 50. I've got, that gives me 19 years. I will probably Dude. use seven of them. You better not. I'm, be I'm letting you know, man. I I know what I've done to my body. I know where it's at. It's it's not a good. It's not good. It's not good. It's gonna be a short trip. Okay. It's gonna be a short trip, but hopefully you know what? things like this. When you're when your when your fiftieth birthday gets here, no matter where you are, I'm going to be there with you, and I'm going to smack you and say, "You lied." I, I lied really, to me. I really wanted to buy a fucking plane ticket out to the to the thing in August. I really wanted to. Yeah. Just to, um, just to show up at the door like, hey, man, what are we doing? Yeah. Because at that point. Uh, you're getting on stage. We're, you're, you're my drummer for the because, night. Let's go. Because at that point, <laughs> I will have brought out a joint with me and said, you're smoking this because I flew halfway across the country to right. get here. Um, and you know what? That. You know why I can't? That can't happen. I I know I know why it can't happen, Josh. I'm having but also, fun well, fantasy booking, right? <laughs> Can I just vaping? On the other hand, maybe I I might do a vape once. Uh, I think you just went silent, sir. What? Oh no. Okay. Oh, I, no. If that if that situ oh, no. if the situation oh, were there. Josh. If the situation were there, it would be like, okay, one time, so that I, I will never do it, want to do it again. Yeah. But vaping, because I can't bring the smoke home because my wife will go to the hospital. I, no, no, don't, don't you start making plans, mister. If you are, the, the, unfortunately, if you are a member of our audio-only podcast, you can't, you see, can't see his face. the reaction that I'm giving him, so... Tough fucking noogies, as I was told as a kid. Suck a bag of dicks. He, he just looked like I told him, Christmas came early, bud. <laughs> Look under your chair. There's a ticket. No, just kidding. <laughs> I've got a golden ticket. Yeah. Golden um, for those of you that are wondering what he's talking about, on um, by the time this airs, or sorry, yeah, so this is going to air uh, on August 1st, so on August 6th, you're not going to be there because you're probably not local, but if you're listening to this, Chiba Hut, <clears throat> Las Vegas, Chiba Hut, Rainbow and Sahara, I am hosting the first ever Room 6 Rocks Summer Showcase, where five previous guests on my channel, I have a channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me, uh, I interview them, I do reviews of their shows, I do reviews of whiskeys, I do reviews of their music, and five acts that from the very first season, three, almost four years ago, uh, are going to be performing. I'm very excited, they're excited, and unlike many a showcase that you and I have both played in, they're getting paid. <laughs> showcase usually means exposure and networking, uh, but this is a showcase because they've all got one thing in common, they're all former Room 6 guests, and this is their opportunity to play, play loud, um, put out merch. It's a free show to everybody you know that wants to come. It's a sandwich shop. I mean, what am I going to do? Somehow, you know, keep the sound from going into the parking lot? Because it is it is a, a, like a patio area, so they, they're playing technically outside. But uh, it's a great venue. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be live streaming it. Um, consider subscribing on the YouTube channel, Room 6 LV, and um, check out the live stream. Moving on. Oh, Sean, you had some uh, some news, right? Some t little interesting tidbits. Oh man, would this be some moving news? <clears throat> some news that might move you? No, it's moving news. I was like, are you moving? No, it's moving news. <laughs> as in, I moved. I uh, I am moving most of my equipment, if not all of it, by the end of this fucking extravagant trek across the plains it feels like uh i'm trying to, to the studio i'm trying to get all of my equipment into a studio to where i can record work uh basically just devote all of my professional life into nice and so i've got 
audio curtain blankets. I've got tables set up for guitar and drum repair because that's something that I can kind of yeah. do because I have a toolkit for that. I've got a TV going up that's going to have instructional DVDs and an ability to run a sound system out of it. Specifically <laughs> for the purpose of like hosting three to five people little clinics. Nice. If you, and live streaming them? Or yeah, like, not, yes, lecturing. Absolutely. I love to talk. <laughs> no, no, I said live streaming. Oh, if I can figure out a way to do that, yeah. I've got a I've got a little uh, a little clamp that holds up my phone. I can do that, sure. Yeah, Twitch, Discord. Oh fuck! I had just throw another wrinkle in there. You're adding so much more. Yes. So much. Work. Welcome to my so world. So much more work on my plate. You Welcome to my. I I literally have to. S- I literally have to rationalize I'm, like going, I'm going out to shows it's going now to because be it's Twitch more content Tuesdays, than I have to edit. Something Wednesdays. Like I, I'm going to have to do one day a yeah. week and just... Whiskey, whiskey Wednesday. <laughs> and just divide it up into seven because this is yeah. what I have. Go what for I it. have now is not working, but what I'm doing now is just the, yeah. the, hey, the uh, construction part of things. Quick question. Quick answer. Uh the audio blanket thing they're specifically designed for you know keeping out outside sound or what uh the outside sound is kept out through the construction of the building the okay. inside sound is uh multiple sheetrock layers that are displaced breaking up layers of sound right but what's the audio blanket but the audio blankets are just mass weight that absorb reflective sounds okay so i put them so you... i put them close to corners i put them okay. on the long walls and on the long walls they're right. going to absorb most of the sound uh i've got stands that go up to 12 feet and unfortunately when the when the blankets are on the stands they bow the middle so i'm trying to figure that out and fix that but yeah they get heavy it's a lot of shit man i've got also i've got auto mutes auto mutes uh are fantastic little like three foot across panels that are just very dense and they suck up everything Sorry, they what? Because you you just like blew the mic out for Zoom. They suck up everything, all uh, of the impact, right. all of the thing that you just <clears throat> went through. They they just take that up and go, no, no, we're no, it's yeah. not going to reflect anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp those into the spaces that are in the middle between the sound blankets, so that I have pretty much just flat walls of sound absorption material and it's going to be a very dead space sounds juicy and then I have more tripods with more sound blankets ready so that if I need to wall off something boom goes Mm -hmm. up 15 minutes I can do it Nice. It, it sounds actually ideal for what you want to do. It, it, it's modular enough that I appreciate it, but I'm not ready for how much square footage I'm going to lose internally from all of yep. the tripod stands going out at the walls. You know what that means. Yep, I knew. I very much do. You, you know, that's an idea. I just had. I, I just had an idea because I've had an issue dealing with sound from the road coming through this window for a long time and I why are you acting all excited because I'm hoping awesome this is where uh, the meeting froze or well, this is interesting. I'm sorry so, that the meeting has ended. I'll start we a new will, one. Uh, continue by him again. 38 minutes and 50 Zoom. seconds. Shut up. I don't or want to record. 39 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 39. There we go. 
We'll start from there. Oh, shit. All right then. Thirty nine hey forty five in two done. Hello. Okay, here we go. Hello. Here we go. So yeah, did did it give you a message that it was gonna cut cut out or did nope, it just die on you? Just died. Forty minutes. Same now. here. You, you threw your arms up in the air like you were excited about something, and then you weren't there. Because I was so awesome. I was talking. It's fine. It's right all, on. My talking's well, all gone now. So now we have to just continue from... Oh, where, no. We got the audio. Now we have to continue from where we left off. Oh, no. We got... Okay. Well, what I was going to say was that, um, you know, I've got my lights mounted up in, in, on, on the wall now. And they're out of the way. But I, I'm constantly battling the car noises going, you know, of going by because this window probably isn't properly audio insulated. But also it's... And I can't just wall off the window because my wife works in the in here and likes to be able to look out the blinds occasionally. <clears throat> We've had a whole conversation about it. And I was thinking, you know, like a projector screen? What if I had some sort of way to pull down a sound baffle thing when I need it and then raise it back up when I don't? And that's what I was thinking about before the uh, the meeting died. But anyway, shall we jump back in? The audio curtains that I have would work great for that. And I will send you some ideas because um, let me let me actually just close your eyes. Close your eyes, please. Close your eyes. I'm picturing Go Sicily. Back. Go back in Southern California memory and remember yep. to a in-ground pool. And at that house, they always had those big hooks <clears throat> above the patio that held all of the equipment, the skimmer, all of that stuff, it stayed up there. Mm -hmm. You need those. <laughs> you need the, the big hooks. <laughs> That's where your blankets can sit. And you can just kind of throw them up like curtains. But let me tell you, man, those fuckers are heavy. Holy shit. Yeah, that's... They are ruining, the, they're thing, ruining um... the stands that I have. So I'm going to send you photos of them tomorrow because literally I've got them like bolstered up on the uh, the wing nuts and then it dips into the middle and it does this it's bad cool. it's real bad i Thanks. i won't i won't uh, advise doing it for like <clears throat> the nine feet that i have the 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 other segment because right. they they extend up to like 12 feet long <clears throat> but it's three foot segment so it's three nine yeah oh, okay I've, I've lost you i i I, I need like a six you're by bored eight. out of your fucking skull it's fine no, I'm I'm looking at oh. the I'm looking at it, visualizing, but uh, yeah, I would need like a like a six by right. But it folds size, in but... on itself. It's got little hooks on the top, and you could just like fold the hooks right. in on, or not the hooks, the eyelets, Cause... eyelets. You can hook the eyelets yep. out uh, back upon themselves, and then just throw in what I'm doing is a carabiner. Carabiner. A carabiner. Nice. Yes. So. Um... Hey, are you up for some uh, weird news? Weird news. Weird news. It's weird news. Found some weird news on the internet. We're talking about it. It's weird, weird news. news. So, it's not Florida, but Alabama. Oh, man. I don't want to even fucking talk about Florida after giving Allison COVID. <clears throat> That's fucked up, man. Yeah, fuck, so, fuck yeah. Florida. Uh, oh, I meant, no, no. I meant to tell you. I meant to say, I don't know if you know, like, we just had to cancel a cruise because it turns out my wife and I both got COVID and we got over it in, like, four days five days because you're supposed to self-isolate for five days this new variant and if you've got if you got the booster it it really isn't that bad man like it really isn't which that is, bad the flu is which worse is kind of what she was saying was it was kind of fluey but it's also body ache and pain yeah you just are kind however, of like something's wrong but i don't however, know what yeah what i don't want is some fucking 
dumb cunt <clears throat> carrying Whoa. carrying this fucking virus into somebody who can't defend <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. can't defend against it. Like that right. scares the shit yeah, out of me, man. Yeah, no, we, we were very fortunate that my in-laws went and got tested as soon as we found out, and they both got negative. The kids somehow in the same, like, living in the same house, on the same trip, she was negative. And when we, we went and got tested You're four days later. You're giving so much hope right now, because she's, I'm telling you, yeah, she's up there it right literally, here. Yeah, no, honestly, we picked up this weird dry cough from uh, David, apparently, before we found out about this. So we didn't. We thought it was just some sort of weird chest thing, and then now that I you know know what the symptoms are, I'm like, oh yeah, there was all that too. But we just thought it was some sort of you know summer bug, flu thing. Summer but it, it it was just annoying. No, it was just annoying. It I, and I still I still have this weird dry cough occasionally. But um, what we're gonna do? We, the the cruise company was very nice and gave us all our money back. So that was awesome. They have a protocol in place for COVID nineteen because they make you take a test within two days of boarding and we found out we got a text message literally <clears throat> like two hours away from the place and we're, we're like well i guess we're not dropping in to see my 87 year old mom <laughs> and uh, we had to turn around and drive home but we got on the phone immediately it was like hi you know we got a blah 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 it's like okay well you can um Reschedule, rebook another cruise, or we can give you your money back. And we just looked at each other. And my wife started like crying on the phone at this lady. She couldn't believe it. And so Royal Caribbean has like shout out. They have our undying loyalty. Uh, but we went. Of course, as soon as we uh, got the money back from them, which took a couple weeks, immediately booked another, booked the same cruise. And this time, about two weeks before we go, we're going to get tested so we know what the situation is. And then we'll go and take it two days before. But that way we have we have like we're armed with knowledge. If we somehow picked it up again, because I'm going to things, I have you know musicians come over and interviews and stuff. If we somehow picked it up again, we'll know and be able to isolate and do what we got to do. And if we didn't, then we'll know and we'll <laughs> we'll just be extra careful. But uh, that's the smart thing because it's you know we we get free tests, so why not? Um, but Alabama. Which I just uh, I just you... got some free tests sent to the house because it's awesome. it's what we needed to do. After this last week, we awesome. fucking needed it. Right. So um, if, if you if you haven't yet, get your free tests. They're fucking free. Just get them. Get them. Take yeah. them. Co and, and and absolve yourself of the burden of ignorance. Right. I mean, definitely, COVID is still a thing. This new variant. Is a little sneakier. It isn't. You're just in the hospital. It's more like something's wrong, but I don't know what. And get tested. You know, there's still free tests. Um, but Alabama, <laughs> weird news. In 2019, a man was arrested. Mickey Polk, P A U L K, 39. How old are you, Sean? I'm 31, man. But uh, I hear that. I yeah. hear that Mike Hawk is uh, 39. Mickey Pauk with a P. Oh, Pauk. My Pauk. Uh, okay. Yes. My Pauk. So, Not my yeah, Pauk. It's, like, it's, like, it's like Kalk, but with a yeah. P. So, anywho, yeah. um, he was arrested in Limestone County for allegedly keeping and training an attack squirrel in quotes by giving it methamphetamines and the name of the squirrel was D's Nuts. <laughs> oh, Bama. Never change. Actually, change, please. That's a scary-ass squirrel, man. I'm not gonna lie. That's a fucking terrifying squirrel. That's a squirrel that could fuck Crank. you up. That is a squirrel that could ruin your day, ruin your week, ruin your month. That is a squirrel that love... could develop a personal vendetta against you because its trainer is giving you drugs. That's a bad squirrel. That's a fucking squirrel I don't want to do business with. It's one I don't want on my team. Nah, fuck that squirrel. Right. That's, that's a scary fucking in the whole squirrel, world. and I'm trying to kill it as soon as I see it. It's actually a normal looking squirrel. There's a picture no, of it no, on his no, shoulder. No, 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 thanks. Nope. nope. I don't need but, that demon in my house. No, thank you. But but the best part is, of course, he owned a firearm 
and he's a felon. So yeah, he he was going back, he was going to prison. We knew that. Yeah, but um, that is that is hilarious. Um, he claims that I would never. I've had it since it was a baby. I'd never give it meth. Yeah, that's hilarious. I just love that he called it D's nuts. One word, D's nuts. Um. You miss. Oh wow! He also apparently. Additional charges, um, oh, no, sorry, arrested again on December 23rd. Wait, what? Wait, what? His, his trial was postponed. He was, but he was arrested again for trafficking meth and chemical endangerment of a child. Wow. Plus some other weapons and drug charges. He's just a piece of crap. Um, that's, yeah, that's, that's my weird news. I just was like, wait, wait, wait. Attack squirrel, meth. These nuts. I have to talk to Sean about this. That's crazy, yo. Um, I wanted to ask you a quick question about where you live. I want to try and give you a quick answer, but I can't guarantee anything. <clears throat> well, I heard on a TikTok today from somebody who just moved to Texas a, a while ago, and what she said was, People from Texas online are not like people in tex from Texas in person. And I was wondering if you so came across the same thing. Because you're, you're in the South, technically. I don't live in Texas, man. No, but no, you live no, in Kansas. No, no, no. Mm. Where I'll start with that is uh, nobody confuses Missouri or Kansas with Texas. They, well, yeah, it's no. their own fucking thing, and they they want to be their own fucking thing. For for, them, for as say. similar as they are, they really want to be their own thing. It's very big yeah. brother, little brother, big sister, little sister, big sibling, little sibling feeling. Jabs suckers. Ah, uh, sigh. Sorry, your your well, question was. Oh, my question was, um, how like Texas are you finding Kansas and Missouri? Are, are are there are there pockets of sanity, or is it all by just... by how Texas? I assume you mean like how Austin, because Austin. No, oh. I, I I mean the other. How I mean the, the, the Texas that doesn't believe in am science. Am I finding it very conservative? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay because I, I it's yeah. I, if I'm being frank, it's very much what I thought it was when I left. Okay, thanks, Frank. And I would love to change it, but you know, if I ever became a fucking public politician, shit like this would come up, and I would be instantly discounted which i should be because this is fucking ridiculous and i shouldn't be in charge of things i shouldn't be in charge that's that's awesome i shouldn't man i, uh, I i'm yep. i'm here doing what i feel is a public service i'm providing time and commentary towards events that deserve time and commentary here, here. but if i'm in a public well, office shit is really right. fucked up yeah. Oh, sigh. Well, we are actually um, we're coming up near an hour, I think, even with all our technical difficulties we had, um, which hopefully the listeners won't even know about because I will do a, I will do some audio chicanery and try to cut out some uh, some interesting bits we had. But I had a comic book question for you. We haven't talked to comics in a while. No, we haven't. Okay. It's gonna be fun. We really, we really but haven't first, talked about comics in a while. Yes. Can you, can you, uh, please feel free to lap? I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this fucking. I hate Zoom because I can't ever get the, the like view I want. Hmm. That thing? No. That thing? No. What I do is I. I want to just have us face you know, to face, but I can't. There we go. Hey, buddy! Holy shit, I see your hey. face now. Oh, oh, okay. You were very... 
How many? Po- how many? How many podcasts have you we were, done? No, you were very small, and I, I very and small. I haven't I, I haven't done this in a long time. Okay. I forgot. There's a whole like, so, little menu of mechanics on the left side. So sorry. All right. So okay. hit me with your best okay, shot. Ba-da, 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 ba-da. <sighs> okay, Pat. So I had a which would you rather question for you. Oh. Okay. All right. One of my favorites. Yeah. It's fucking. I'm not gonna say if you could have one superpower, what would it be? No. Uh, because most super, most superpowers you really don't no, want. Just, but. Okay. Uh, but which would you rather? Would you rather have Batman's money, but Plastic Man's powers, or, okay, you got that in your head, or Beast Boy's intellect? <laughs> <laughs> the face, the face he just made. Beast Boy's intellect and maturity level with Rhino's p- powers. No, no, no. Sorry, no, no. I, I take that back. Beast Boy's intellect <coughs> and maturity with Superman. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can see what? I can see the vein on. on his forehead. Just for, just for fucking for clarification purposes, rephrase that one more time because you bounced all over the goddamn place. <laughs> one more time for clarity's okay. sake. What I said, the fuck would you rather you have say? Would you rather have Batman's money but you have Plastic Man's power? Okay. I'm keeping it I'm keeping it DC. <laughs> so you're 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 a billionaire, but you're plastic man. <laughs> it's so dumb. I agree. Or would you rather be Beast Boy mentally, but you're Superman's body with his powers? Or Supergirl? You know, it doesn't have to be all guys. And I kind of feel like it'd be I'm a hell of a lot of fun. Out this is a fair comparison. It's not. This is not even apples to oranges. This is this is, this just is a, a, a question. This is me. This is me on the fly, just coming up with this. We didn't have a listener question today, and because I didn't ask, and I just just like I've always wondered, what are the like two just completely disparate things like. It's not apples to oranges. We're comparing okay. a okay. an all for pun- we're we're comparing a leather working tool with you know a, a bumper sticker. <laughs> it's just totally. On the one hand, being a billionaire in Plastic Man, I want to hear your justification of it because I don't fucking get it. I don't understand well, this one. Bat- Batman has gone on record. Batman has gone on record many times saying Plastic Man is like one of the most powerful beings on earth. And he just, fortunately, he's a good guy who has, you know, wants to be the comic relief. <laughs> and if he had Batman's money, he never would have had to be like a thief and all that. Um, whereas I think it'd be a hell of a lot of fun being a teenager, like beast boy, who's goofy wait, anyway. Wait, wait, and being like, Oh, by the way, wait, I'm Superman. What is, what is, what does he, what does he fucking get with the money? What is what is whatever he plastic, wants? Plastic man. Plastic man. What does plastic man get with the money that he's envious of Bruce Oops. Wayne with? He's not envious. He's not envious. He just suddenly he he has Bruce Wayne's money, and it's true. I should have said Bruce Wayne, not Batman. Uh, but yeah, I was just saying like, who is a weird person to be that rich? Would he have the plastic mobile, I, which I think was I, actually a can thing? Can I just sticking in the same frame of things? Can I fuck up your sentence a little bit? Scarecrow. Please. What okay. Is Scarecrow the orphan from the Batman movie. The Batman movie being uh, the, the newest uh, Robert Pattinson 
uh, take of it. Uh, I, I I haven't seen it oh, actually. Uh, you know, like I've seen. Let me, let me, let me, I dial it back. I have seen some clips because I'm on you YouTube should, a lot. You should watch, but it's it's. I just can't get behind the the eyeliner. It's, man. it's publicly <laughs> available. However, you're gonna have to watch I it know. twice. Watch it. I enjoy. Let me put it, it this way. I'm serious. I didn't. I'm serious. Okay. Watch it your oh. first time. Take some notes as far as like what happens, yeah. and then watch it the second time. Mm -hmm. It's gonna fuck it up. Because I, I've seen like behind the scenes and and video vid, video effects breakdowns and stuff, uh, and and it looks like there was some a lot a lot of cool stuff. I'm just not a fan, honestly, of the costume. That that's fine. I'm talking about the like I'm I I, the, I enjoyed the story that you were right, and the story I don't know too much about. But to me, it looks a little bit like they said they watched all of Gotham the series and then took it to its like okay now he's Batman and we're gonna that but again I haven't seen it. It's, um, it's the Batmobile looks it's legit. Very much uh, source material accurate. It's it's pretty good. Okay. So what you're telling me is in this movie, Scarecrow is not Doctor Crane. He's an orphan. Not confusion. Scarecrow, Riddler. Mm. Riddler. You said Scarecrow, so a Riddler. And what is what is the question? Riddler, but what? I felt like I was trying to talk to you about the movie and I got too far into talking to you about the movie and now I don't. We were doing a Which Would You Rather and you said uh, Scarecrow, but I think you meant Riddler. But I'm, I'm confused as to... It's okay. It's, it's all right. Okay. I, it's all right. It's, it's okay. This is what happens when you drink alcohol and do a podcast, folks. This is what happens <laughs> when you get hyperfixated on a subject and then you yeah. lose it because Fair enough. you get also, taken on to a tangent and diverted away from what you were originally talking yeah. about. You didn't stand up for what you were talking about. Also, not not that he this is unusual for him, but it's min, it's after midnight where he is at time of recording. So, uh, yeah. But I, I think it is time for us to tiptoe to, through the tulips and say goodnight. Uh, sir... Anything you have to say to the ones and twos of listeners out there? To the ones, twos, threes, and the fours. Be careful, because people are going to come up your back door. No. Um, what? what? <laughs> no. I, Wait, what? I'm, I'm building a space where I'm moving half of my life. I hope to upload some photos soon. We're going to need to talk about that. On how to, on how yeah. to approach that, but um, this is going to be a space where I do this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be sound absorbent. It's going to be bigger than I thought was possible, and it's not going to be here. So I'm I'm excited yep. to start that chapter, but it's also fucking scary because yep. it's a it's a hey. whole new place. A whole new world. A new fantasy point of view. That's enough copyright. Um, you know what I like about your new place? Doing these things? I don't hear sirens and car alarms going off while we're trying to record. <laughs> it's awesome. Thanks, Kansas. All right. Um, as for me, I have one bit of advice. This is my generic bit of advice in many, many things in life, and to many, many different types of people, don't make it worse. The world is certainly full of difficulties right now, and, and always has been, always will be things that are could be better. If you can't make it better, don't make it worse. Uh, other than that, thank you for listening to Two Brains, One Bottle. And uh, like I said, if you have a, something you want us to talk about or, or discuss or a question you want us to try to answer in our own inimitable way, Go ahead and email two brains one bottle at gmail.com. Uh, all that is in the description for this podcast. And uh, yeah, remember to be amazing, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, sir, say goodbye. Oh, man, I'm trying to say goodbye, but uh, you don't realize that the last 40 minutes of this show 
where the microphone about uh, four feet away from me. So that's fun. Hey, we'll fix it in post. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -bum.